Welcome back to Introduction to Computer Science at SSFS. In this lesson, we're going to talk about two things. The first is GitHub, which is a place online to store the computer code that you've been working on. It's also a fantastic place for people who are working on the same project to collaborate. Uh, but for right now, you're just going to be using it to store your projects as you work on them. And the second thing we're going to do is actually create our first Python program and upload it and save it to GitHub. So we're going to go over that process. So the first thing you need to do is open up a browser and you're going to go to github.com and you're going to need to create a GitHub account. And creating a GitHub account is similar to any other type of online account you've created. You need a username, an email, and a password and the requirements are here. Once you sign up, you'll be asked to uh, verify your email address. So make sure you have a working email account. And once you've done that, you will be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and since I already have an account, I'm going to sign in. So I'm going to go to the top here, click the sign in button, and it's going to use my information. And here we go. So once you're signed into GitHub, your page will look something like this. I already have some files stored here, so your initial screen may look slightly different. So the place where you store your code is called a repository. So when you want to start a new project, you're going to want to create a new repository to store that project. So I'm going to go down in this area here, and I'm going to click the New Repository button. And since our first project is called uh, Hello World, and Hello World is the first program you write in almost any language, I'm going to call it Hello whoops, World. Uh, you want to avoid spaces. You can put dashes or underscores. Um, but do not put spaces in your repository name. And again, since it's for username, pretty much anything you type in will be accepted at this point. We're going to leave everything else the same. We're going to make it public so that anyone can see it. You have to pay to get a private account. We're not going to check any, any of this. And for right now, we're just going to click Create Repository, which is great. And it gives you some instructions. We're not going to use the command line version right now. We'll do that later. So for right now, we're going to use the desktop version of GitHub. So we'll get to that in just a second. So let's leave this page open. We, we're done with GitHub right now. And let's open up PyCharm. And you'll see the icon down here uh, for the PyCharm. CE stands for Community Edition. There's a paid version of PyCharm. We're just using the free version. And if you don't have the latest version, you can go ahead and download it from the PyCharm site. OK, we're going to do Create a New Project. And this is the path. So take a note of the path. It's in users, my username. And instead of saying ent entitled, I'm going to call it Hello World. Now, it doesn't have to be the same name as my repository, but it makes navigation a little bit easier. But again, it doesn't matter. And I'll click Create. So then PyCharm will open up. It might give me a tip of the day. I'll go ahead and close this. And I'm going to double click on this Hello World, which kind of ex expands the navigation so I can see all the files in your project. At least for the start of this year, the programs that you use will probably be a single file. For the second half of the year, you'll start to have multiple files in your projects. And seeing this view is a great way to see all of them at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and right click or uh, hold the control key down and click. And I'm going to do a new Python file and I'll call it hello py and the dot py just says it's a python file extension so here we go i have my first python script uh, let's go ahead and print out or create the hello world program and in python it's nice and easy i use the function print i put some parentheses and then in quotes i write what i want python to print so the command is print hello world. Not a very exciting program, but the first one is just to kind of give you an idea of how things work. Let's go to run. I'm going to click the run button. And it says, which one of these do you want to run? I'll click the hello. And you can see it opens up the Python console down here. And it shows me hello world printed to the screen. So once again, 
not very exciting, but it shows you how to use PyCharm and, and Python. So now we've created our program, let's go ahead and sync this up with GitHub. So I'm going to go ahead and open the GitHub desktop. So GitHub desktop, I just type git, I hit command spacebar to open up the search window. And I have no repositories right now, so I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a repository. And I'm going to click on add, instead of create, I'm going to click add. And it says, what's the local path, or where is this is, is your local file store? So I'm going to hit choose. And it's under users, it's under PyCharm projects, and then I have the file called hello world. And there's my program. I'm going to go ahead and click open. And I'm going to hit create and add repository. Okay, now you see, here's my hello program, and here's my one line. It shows as green because that's a new change since I last synced. Since I've never synced, everything should be green. But you see, I have all these other files here. Well, on, on Macs and Linux, anything that starts with a dot is hidden. That's why if I go to the Finder and go to Hello World, I only see the hello.py file. These are hidden files. For right now, we don't need those. So I'm going to uncheck these and just check Hello. So that's the only file I want to sync. It's the only one I, I care about. In GitHub, you save as you're working on a project, and you save different versions of your project so that you can go back and look at an earlier version anytime you want to, or restore to an early version, which is very, very handy, and I'll show you that in a minute. But under description, I'm going to say first commit. And the way GitHub works is you usually uh, add something to your program, then you commit it, which means save those changes. And when it says commit to master, I'm committing it to what's called the master branch or the main working branch of my file. For right now, you're only going to be working with the master branch. If you are collaborating or working on a very large project, you might be working on other parts. So I'm going to hit commit to master. And you see that hello world or the hello.py disappeared because it's committed. And I have this first commit. Now we need to publish it to GitHub. So I'm actually going to go back to my window. And you see this address, which is the address of my repository. So I'm going to copy that. So Command C to copy. I'm going to go back to the desktop under repository, repository settings. I'm going to paste that in. And this is the remote repository, it's the off site Git repository. Okay, now if I hit publish. If I've already used, I've already typed in my username and password and saved it. So if this is the first time you're doing it, you'll have to type in your GitHub username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and allow this and see that it's syncing. Now it's synced. So if I go back to GitHub and refresh this page, I'll see here is my code stored on GitHub. If I click on it, it'll show me the lines of the code, which is pretty useful. So that's it for right now. Um, this, this is basically how you are going to save your programs. There's a lot of information to take in at first. Feel free to watch this video a few times until you get the hang of it. When you turn in a project for this class, you'll be just turning in this link, the link to the current repository. So you'll copy that, paste it in the appropriate place in the class site, and then I will be able to go and see everyone's projects. So again, ask questions. Uh, watch this video several times, and it will be, make much more sense as we go along throughout the year.